Joining us now to talk about ABC's handling of the presidential debate and the media's campaign coverage, Jim Garrity, contributing editor for National Review. John Aravosis, who blogs at americablog.com. And Mark Feldstein, a journalism professor at the George Washington University. Mark Feldstein, the first 45 minutes of that debate was strikingly unbalanced against Obama. But was it unfair? Um, no. But it wasn't unfair, but it was the venue was strange. I mean, if this was a 60 Minutes interview and they were grilling Obama about these controversial issues, no one would have really shrugged. We're not used to seeing the venue of a debate, which is supposed to be more balanced, uh, be so lopsided one way. John Aravos, is, uh, most of these complaints about ABC's questioning and being, oh, it was so trivial and it was so superficial, uh, seem to be coming largely from liberals who love Barack Obama. No, that's not true. Actually, we had Greg Mitchell, who writes editor and publisher, who's a respected voice in journalism, saying it's a problem. We had the Washington Post TV critic. We had a lot of folks who are actually independent. You yourself just said that they went after Obama for the first half hour. Right, but I want to make a distinction here. I mean, clearly, you look at the transcript, most of the tough questions went to Obama. ABC says, well, Obama's the front runner. But the idea well, Which that is ridiculous for a debate, because then have Obama on your show for an hour and don't have Hillary, if that's what you're doing. But go but on. The yeah. idea that, uh, that Jeremiah Wright, right. Obama's remarks about bitter small town voters. Okay, uh, Hillary, let's, that, that these were that right. these were uh, this dominated the news for weeks. Right. Two points. First of which is Jeremiah Wright may have dominated the news for weeks, but George Stephanopoulos asking a presidential candidate if your pastor loves America, asking Obama, you know, do you love the American flag? What kind of right-wing garbage is this? I mean, th these are not legitimate questions to ask a president. We don't ask John McCain for an hour, you know, tell us about your adultery, Mr. McCain. It's never going to happen. I think this was sh uh, gossip journalism. It was shoddy. What about the notion that this outrage, I mean, that's the only word I can think of, outrage at the way ABC handled this debate, even among some, you know, ostensibly neutral media writers and television columnists, is driven by great sympathy for, for Barack Obama? Well, I, you know, you notice Hillary Clinton whined earlier in a couple of debates saying that she always got the first question and could the media get Barack a pillow? And it doesn't look very flattering on her part. Uh, I understand that, you know, Bar Barack spent a good portion of the day afterwards complaining about that. Look, one person's right-wing garbage is the next person's best debate ever. Uh, and needless to say, look, every one of these questions generated some, something new about the candidates we didn't know otherwise. I know there was a lot of complaints that they didn't get to health care. Every time the two candidates talk about health care, it turns into my plan's universal, your plan isn't. And, you know, I've seen all these debates except one. I'm getting a little tired of that back and forth. Well, but then maybe never... we shouldn't have debates. I mean, I agree, but, but we're talking about, gosh, we've heard about the issues so much. Let's talk about people's sex lives. Let's talk about, let's talk about what, Monica for an hour because we've heard too much life. about the... My point is, let's talk about Monica because we haven't talked enough about the... Because the environment's gotten boring. I mean, maybe we should do a debate about why we don't think issues are important anymore. Oh, Jeremiah Wright, Obama's own remarks about uh, clinging to religion and to guns. And Hillary's uh, shifting tale about being coming under sniper fire in Bosnia. Are these not legitimate issues for debate? For half, and, for half of the debate, A, I think it's a little much. B, we did not discuss Jeremiah Wright. We asked Obama if his priest loves America. I mean, what are these, the McCarthy hearings? The, I play that question again. You, you just put the intro. You listen to it and you go... This is journalism? He sounds like the worst blog. He sounds like a worse blog than Jim or I have, frankly. <laughs> now, let's be clear. Uh, the, in two thirds of the debate was devoted to such subjects as Iraq, Israel, gun control, taxes, affirmative action. But because there, of this great firestorm of criticism, uh, do you think that Charlie Gibson and ABC have been tarnished by this, or is this just kind of, this is what, it's just media chatter? I think it's media chair. They're no more tarnished than the media is as a whole and all of its gotcha coverage. <laughs> Was this gotcha coverage? Yeah. Were these gotcha questions? Yeah. Now, why is Is there anything wrong this? with that? Well, yes and no. I mean, when Tim Russert um, is hammering Hillary Clinton about driver's license for illegal and, aliens, and you can, you can put name. gotcha on it, but it's, there's an issue there. Right. And, you know, you wrote about it in your book, Spin Cycle. There's this whole kind of, you know, the... The media tries to penetrate the edifice that the politicians put up. The politicians put up more of an edifice. So the media does gotcha questions, so there's more propaganda. And, it, you know, it's a chicken and egg thing. Which came first? I don't know. But it's, uh, you know, locked into this kind of positions where there's no flexibility. And a network that's trying to make money is doing the 21st debate, used to all these canned uh, sound bites from the candidates, and trying to get through the fog of that... Uh, but 
you know, propaganda, they resort to the but, gotcha but question. That's the problem is we're talking about making money. We're talking about what's fun. And you know what? It's not fun to talk about the point that oil just hit a record price of $116 a barrel, more or less. It's not fun to talk about the fact that Bush's own uh, uh, economic people are now saying, gosh, you know, maybe we are going to have a recession. It's not fun to talk about the fact that you can't even exchange dollars in parts of Europe because it's considered such a bad currency. Like, there aren't any other issues, America's. When I go to the store and buy gas, my first thought is, you know, Obama isn't wearing a flag. But hold on. Come I, on. I, I, I would These have are not the that. issues people are I would have, have passed about. on the flag pin question.